You know what? This is how I'll, this is how I, this is how I'll do it. I'll debate him. We'll bring him on right now. Let's go right now. If he, if he says that LeBron is the best player to ever play the game. If he says, if he tweets that and doesn't delete it in two seconds. Oh, I'm 100%. Let's debate. Chad, I'm expecting you guys to be civil. If you're not civil, this is you're gonna fucking ruin everything. I'm just gonna be honest. Try that, try that, try that. Hello? <laughs> Yo, hello? What's what up, what up, man? Bro, wait, so what are you wearing right now? What is that? I, I got my Laker gear on, man. We we just won a championship. Kobe Bryant all day. I can't this it's wait, the team I rock, man. It's my team. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. I Hold on a second, bro. Is is this some kind of weird bait troll? You're f I thought you were a Heat fan. No, Lowe's. I've always been an LA fan. I just liked a few players on the Heat. You know, similar to you. Like both of us on the same page with the Heat. We just like a couple players. We we, we saw the potential, you know, very early. What do you mean a couple players? Like I, I like uh Jimmy, Bam, uh really like Tyler Hero. You know, just 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 a handful of players. You know, that's all. That's all it is. So you're, but, you're so you're posing as a Laker fan to make a point right now. No, I've always been a Laker fan. Always, always been a Laker fan, man. Since since I mean, I mean, look look at this, look at this jersey. That's that's Adidas right there, not bro, Nike. Bro, Come this on. is the dumbest troll. I know you're a it's Heat not, fan. I'm not a Heat fan. You literally said you were. No, I said I'm. I, I support the Heat, man. That's that's all it was, man. I'm a Laker fan, man. We we won our 17 chip. We we here to have this conversation, Los. Let's let's not change the debate now. Come on now, Los. And now I don't even know what we're debating because now you've Fine. completely like I don't know what the fuck you're saying. So we're we're here right now to talk about what everybody wants us to talk about. What do you what do you think people want us to talk about? Discuss why Michael Jordan is still the greatest of all time. Let's talk about it. Let's, okay. let's talk about that. Okay. Let's talk about that. Let's, let's, so let's before go. before we say that, can we can we just can you take off the Laker gear? Because come on, I'm a Laker fan. Plus, my I ain't get my haircut in a second, so I can't let people see my my hairline. That's, that's bugging. Yo, Lowe's. No, nah, like see, I thought you were gonna take it serious, and now you're pretending I'm to be taking, a Laker I'm, fan. It's, it's I've psychotic. been I've, I've been a Lakers fan, Lowe's. If anyone who knows me, they know me. Man. I, I've been a Lakers fan. All right. I'm just going to. Okay. You know what? That's fine. All right. So, yeah, pe people want. Okay. Don't, okay. Not just people, but you've been trying to get this Jordan-LeBron debate. And I want to know, why, why do you want to defend Jordan this badly? Defend. I mean, I, I like. I want to defend the truth. That's that's what all I care about. Is just the truth. Oh. You know. Uh, okay. That's it. That's it. When people when people lie about LeBron, you if you see me on Twitter, I'm pretty active because I don't know how it, all of a sudden this team is now a super team and LeBron had all this help. So no, like all that stuff. I just I defend the truth. That's it. Los, that's all I do. You okay? So you defend the truth. Okay. So you think you believe? Because I'm assuming that you. How long have you been watching basketball? How old are you? I've been watching basketball. I can't tell my age because that's that's kind of on the low. But I've been watching basketball. Oh, that's on the low. My bad. I know. It's 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 been north of fifteen years at this point. Fifteen years. Okay. So, so you're set, so you didn't watch Jordan play. No. 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 Okay. So, how can you confidently say Jordan uh, is better than LeBron? A person who you said you've been watching for fifteen years. You've witnessed all the bullshit, all the good shit, everything with LeBron. And in, in his 17 years in a league, he's got maybe one thing on his resume with the, with the Mavs, which is still a little questionable to me, but I, I'll, I'll give you that. The Mavs thing, eh, whatever. So how, how do you say, oh, no, Jordan is just, he's the GOAT, he's the best, whatever. I wanna, before I say anything, I want to hear your, your take on that. And because I haven't seen him, is that why? Is that what you're insinuating? Is that what the? I'm asking how you're know? so sure. Like, did you go back and watch, uh, you know, seasons worth of game film and all this? Like, how do you know? How do you know? Yeah, I've, I've watched um plenty of funny, plenty of footage. Um, definitely reread a couple articles, kind of figure out what the narrative was back then. Um, looked at the teammates, understand what they were producing. 
but I've definitely watched um, a bunch of games, especially when um, the NBA was at a break. I definitely watched. Um, I watch all the finals that Jordan has been in. I've watched. I would say about eighty percent of his playoff games. How do you watch? Regular. How do you watch these games? You go on YouTube. They're on. They're on YouTube. Like the full every game, like game one, two, three of every series. Like it's all there. I think the '92 series. There's some games missing, but I think outside of that final series, I think you can go back and watch every single last game on YouTube for every. Series. Okay. Yeah. No. Continue. My fault. My fault. Um, but no, I just, because I've done that, I've, I've watched the games, I've um, read articles, I've um, understood what exactly was going on at that moment in the NBA history, and um, also just understanding who his teammates were, the obstacles, everything that may have occurred. And then, of course, what we just witnessed um, during the break with um, the Last Dance documentary and give me a little bit more insight. That's how I can feel confidently in saying that, um, that he is indeed the greatest of all time. So, okay. So that's just that's just it. Like he's just he's the best. Anyone else? No one can make an argument or or like a, like a like a any type of argument for someone. No one can say LeBron is. No one can say like Kareem. No one can say Bill Russell. Like for you, it's just a hundred percent confident. Jordan is just the goat, and no one's gonna take that. Well, I mean. I, we, we said, I said this last time. I don't know why you pegged me to be this massive hater. I said this last time. I don't think that um, the conversation for LeBron is done, especially when he continues to play at the level he's playing at right now. He just won another championship. And I feel like, if anything, um, this championship in particular really cemented why LeBron should be in that conversation over everyone else. However, um, with everyone else, it's, as you go further back in NBA history, it's harder to watch some of the footage. So you're just going off of hearsay and also kind of looking at stats to try to figure out what you gather. Um, but even then, it still pretty confidently is Michael Jordan over everyone else. Um, but again, I, LeBron, I said this last time, LeBron is still in the league, still doing his thing, um, which is amazing, doing it for 17 years. And because of that, it still leaves it up for um, debate. But as of right now, even with this championship, I would still have Jordan over LeBron. So, all right. So you guys might think I'm going to sit here and be like, oh, no, listen, listen, it's LeBron because this is this. I'm going to just bring up something. Do you watch football? Uh, a little bit. Okay. So this is, this is it's kind of scary how similar this is. But let's talk about, uh, so Jordan has six rings. So how, do you know how many rings Tom Brady has? Was it five? I'm pretty sure it was six. I don't know. Six, Chat, am I dumb? Like, is it five or six? Six, right? Okay, six. All right, it's six, it's six, it's six, it's six. Now, I want, I want to put it this way, bro. From what I've done, from my, from, from my uh, research that I've done on, on, on the history of the game, and especially Jordan, because, you know, I don't just blindly say, oh, LeBron's better than Jordan. I don't, I don't just out of nowhere say that shit. There's a reason. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of shit, and a lot of people say context. I feel like these, these six rings that Jordan has, I think a lot of it has to do with a system. And I think it's the same way with Tom Brady, how it's a system. Amazing, amazing, like, you know, uh, coaching players around him at all times and like an actual system in place on how to play the game. LeBron and no one can no one can deny this about LeBron. LeBron was playing on teams with coaches that have never done shit with, with like fucking players that have never done shit, random ass like scrubs. LeBron was never put into a situation with like, oh, Kawhi Leonard drafted to the Spurs. Kawhi uh, Popovich, fucking Hall of Fame coach, fucking Hall of Fame players, learns in a system how to play the game, all this shit. So I feel like when we talk about Jordan's six rings, we talk, we can talk. I think it's 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 not a crazy thing to talk about it in the same way that we talk about Tom Brady's six rings, because nobody is saying that Tom Brady is the greatest football player to ever live. If some people are saying that, the only ones saying that are basing it off of the team accomplishments, which are the rings. 
if if you just took Jordan by himself, if you took LeBron by himself, and we're just looking at like their numbers, like just what they do in the game, not the team accomplishments. I don't see how any person can sit there, look at these stats, and go, oh no, dude, Jordan's just he's the best. Like that's it. There's no discussion at all. When LeBron statistically and he's still going too. He's gonna pass Jordan in, in whatever. Or if I don't know if he already did, whatever. But dude, LeBron statistically is a better player than Jordan. He's bigger, he's stronger, he's faster, he's he's he can guard more positions, he can just do more than Jordan. Was Jordan drafted into a better situation? Yeah, he was. So you could say Jordan's more lucky than LeBron. He's luckier than LeBron. Uh, and you could say Kawhi's luckier than LeBron. You could say Tom Brady's luckier than LeBron. But to say he's better than LeBron, it's I'm, I, I have a really hard time doing that based off of just, oh, he has six rings. Like, oh, his team was the best six times. Like, I just have a hard time agreeing with that. That's why I have this. That's why. What the fuck? fuck was that fuck i feel like i was saying something and then jake interrupted me but uh, the, the pre- I, i'm assuming the premise of what you were saying is statistically speaking um lebron is just better better player and situation that jordan was drafted into put him in a, a better situation to win championships i'm assuming that was yeah and 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 my my whole point was it's not just jordan it's it's there's other i i i would say that no, oh, the premise of what I was saying to, to finish it off was that all these other players, most players are more lucky than LeBron. Like, I'm just, I'll put it like that. LeBron has created his own luck in deciding to change and go to Miami, uh, going back to Cleveland, uh, getting them to trade for love. and all. Like, he's made his own luck because him being on teams... And where he's drafted and what that shit did not work out at all. That shit did not fucking work out at all. And it's it's I don't think it's LeBron's fault because like I said, he's been putting up the numbers and he's put up fucking great numbers. It's not his fault. But go ahead. That's that's what I was trying to say is that all these people, Jordan knows these people are lucky as fuck. And and LeBron is really unlucky. I would I would argue that Jordan isn't as lucky as what you're trying to make it out to be because Jordan was drafted to an organization that had that didn't that didn't have any culture or any winning history at all. The Bulls were an abysmal franchise. They they were they, there's a reason why they were drafting with that high of a lottery pick. They were a terrible team. Um, even the players when Jordan got there were not like there weren't there weren't anyone on the team that was of substance. And that's another reason why during his sophomore season when he got hurt. When Jordan was out, they still weren't winning any games. So I, I completely disagree on that. No, but um, I, I know what you're saying is true, right? But we know what happened with Jordan's career. So we already know what happened. We know that eventually it turned into fucking Scottie Pippen, fucking being the best team in the league with an amazing coach. We already know what happened. So it's like, yeah, yeah he could have been. Think, dr- okay, go ahead. I think, but I think a lot of that still has to do with LeBron. I mean, it's something to do with Jordan. And some of the thing with LeBron, like as great as the situation he was in with Miami and Cleveland and now with the Lakers, everything still is because of how great LeBron is as a player. Same thing with Jordan. It doesn't matter how great of a player Pippen and how great of a coach Phil Jackson were. They weren't going to win anything unless they had someone like Jordan around them. And so even though, yeah, you're right, um, Jordan was drafted on a team that at the moment when he was drafted was god awful and terrible, and it took a while for them to piece things together. When they actually got things together, it worked out in their favor. But and, to claim that he's lucky, it, I know that's like this also. There's this, luck. This, there's luck behind it. There's luck. This behind is true, it. but but I think you. This is the part that I think you and many other people don't understand and dis, disassociate with um, what's happening right now in the league in contrast to what happened several years ago. To to real to understand the privilege that LeBron, I mean that Jordan had, you also have to understand the privilege that um, LeBron has right now. Not only with the the um, his understanding of how to take care of his body, but also he Jordan LeBron is in a situation right now in an era where free agency exists. You can demand trades. You can go on teams. You can basically pick whatever team you want to do. Back then, that did not exist. Players were signing contracts that were like. 
10 years long. That was a standard. You were stuck on the organization for practically your entire career. Magic Johnson signed a 25 year deal. Like stuff like that so, would not happen. So, so if, and it if, never if happen LeBron, if LeBron was had to go by those rules, then we could agree that he might not, he might not have any ring. He might have one ring. I don't, I don't know. If he just stayed on the Cavs, God knows oh, I'm, what I'm the not, fuck could have happened, bro. I'm, and I'm not saying he should have done that. I'm I'm okay with LeBron leaving the Cavs. I made a whole video about how Dan Gilbert is um is one of the worst owners. I feel like they completely wasted his first seven years. I said the same thing about Anthony Davis. The Pelicans just wasted the first seven years of an all-time great player's career. That is factually correct. But what I'm saying is to understand the, the privilege that someone has, you also have to acknowledge that having the ability to be a free agent, having the ability to have a conversation between other teammates on other teams and having an ability to sign contracts all at the same time and go to a, a franchise at one time to form a super team, that is a privilege that no other era had okay, in well, NBA history. But hold on. I'm not trying to like, okay, let's not say that no one switched teams. Dude, most, many people switched teams. People got traded. People, what about, what about Rodman? Didn't he play against Rodman? Then Rodman joined him. And Rod, but Rodman, Rodman got traded because they didn't want him anymore. If you were a valuable asset in the 80s and 90s, they, they were only trading you unless you just completely held out and forced the trade. That's the only way they were trading you. Clyde no. Drexler didn't get traded until all the way in 95, and he was complaining about the Portland Trailblazers back in 93. Same thing with Charles Barkley. So I know, but I'm, saying the point, I'm just like saying that. the point is that we're not going to act like no one switched teams. No one. There were free agents. People got traded. No, there was shit, no, shit happened no, like that. No, Los. The what concept you... of a free agent only exists. It didn't start to exist until the mid-90s. They're, like, literally players who's assigned Jordan contracts. Played, and Jordan played on another team, too. So, like, what, what are we talking and about? He, play, he played on another team when he retired. The concept of being a free agent didn't exist until the mid-90s. Players were practically restricted free agents for their entire careers. However, again, and I agree with you that Jordan was in a very privileged situation where he was privileged with a great coach. He was privileged with a great running mate, Scottie Pippen, privileged with a system. I'm not denying that. Hold on but one second, wait, one second. Uh, should I get the Miami Heat jersey? If he gets off stream, I'm getting the Heat jersey. Damn. My bad, dude. Jake kept trying to say something. Whatever. Um, okay. That's that's all fine. That's all fine. Yeah. That really doesn't touch on what I said though about being lucky cuz you're like, "Oh, no. Well, LeBron was lucky in his own way. He could leave the team if he want." Like, "Okay, but that makes the point even crazier than if that wasn't the case, LeBron would have what? Had to stay in the Cavs and then he would have fucking nothing." Like like, bro, like it's it goes both ways. Like it's like, "Oh, okay, jo Jordan had to stay in the team and guess what?" He got fucking Hall of Fame teammates, Hall of Fame coach, and they were the best team in the fucking league for years. No, but what I'm, what I'm saying is LeBron had the he has the privilege to put himself in those situations. That's all I'm saying. LeBron can leave the, the Cavaliers, and nobody should really even hold what happened in those years with Cleveland, his first seven years against LeBron, because that's be dumb as hell. I hate when people sit there and tell me about how 2007 he lost. That's so stupid. But he he could he yeah. could have changed his own fortune. That's something that a lot of other players in previous eras just didn't have. That's my point I'm making. So even I, though yet I, he started his career without it, he still within well, after a seven year period, he still went to a great organization in Miami. He still played with Hall of Fame players in Miami. He still played with another Hall of Fame coach in Eric Spoelstra. But hold so on a second. But hold on a second. Eric situation. Spoelstra was not a Hall of Fame coach. Like first of all, the the the, the heat that he went to. Like you, Please, no, can, say, can say we, what you about to say about Eric Spoelstra. Say what you about to say about Eric Spoelstra. Say it. No, 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 no. Hold on. That's not what I'm going to say. That's not what okay. I'm going to say. Okay. okay I'm okay, just going to okay, say okay. this because I'm not going to disrespect Spolcher. I'm okay. going to say this. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say he did not just join a fucking team like KD or like some shit like, oh, let's just join a fucking super team. Fucking No, he joined a team and they had to start from the fucking bottom. Like they fucking had D Wade that was there, but that was not a fucking championship fucking caliber team. All right, let's just get so, right back. So when just, we, yeah, yeah when we, were, we were talking about... But, um, I, no, no, hold on. Before you say that, yeah. I'm mm -hmm. going to say this. Yeah. You want me to agree with, with, the, uh, with the whole free agent, oh, privilege shit? 
then please, I want to hear you agree with how fucking lucky Jordan wound up. Please, I want to hear that, bro. Because if you don't think that I that's said, I said lucky. That. I said that. I said that. I said that he's, he was lucky and he's been privileged to play with Scottie Pippen, Dennis Rodman, um, been coached by Phil Jackson. And all that stuff. I'm not. I'm not in denial about that. I'm just putting things. Into okay. So we're so so. Just to make it clear, we're both in agreement that each player is lucky in their own way. It's just the fact that uh, Jordan's luck resulted in more rings. I mean, LeBron's career is not over, but I mean, bro. But even 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 in that sense, and this is the reason why so many people would have. LeBron under Jordan is that all what happened in the first seven years of LeBron's career in any rational person's mind is acceptable because it's not like he had the adequate help around him to win. But when you then leave and you take your own career in your own hands, which rightfully so, and then you celebrate the decision that you signed with the Miami Heat, and you claim you're going to win seven championships. Dude, dude, yeah. now you're getting what, into what, semantics. What, what, no, you're, now you're just talking about can outside factors. Can, can, can I get to? Uh, can I get to my point? Can no, I get to my point? I know what you're saying. Can I, can bro, I, can I get to my point? Basketball. Can I get to my point? Can I get Go to ahead. my point? Go ahead. When you do all of those things, and then you get to the finals, and then you do not perform, that thus proves the point. That it's more than just he's bigger, he's taller, he's stronger. Look at the numbers he posts up. Because even when he's bigger and stronger, I think your stream just crashed again. Nah, no way. There's no way. Wait, can you hear me good? You can't hear me? I just, you went out for a second, but now I can hear you. you I can hear you now. I can hear you now. Bro, I think, I don't, like, I don't know if you know shit about internet shit. Why would this even happen? I don't know. I don't. I have no. What do you have? I have Verizon. But the thing is, the thing is, it's like, dude, I'm on the internet. I'm still talking to you. My chat's still moving. That is true. But my yeah. stream is like is like shutting off. Like I don't know if it's a Twitch server. To, I I literally I don't know what the fuck this is. I literally I can't figure this out. Chat, are we back? Oh, we're back. Okay, re okay, 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 okay. We and that didn't crash. It didn't crash. Okay. okay. I said this. Um, damn, I was making good points. So, look, all I'm saying is when the, the point I'm making, you know what I'm about to make. When you make when you make the decision, when you have your own um future in your hand, your own career in your hands, and you make the decision to go to Miami, you do all those things. It it shows and it proves that it's more than just he's bigger, stronger, faster, whatever you want to say the metrics, the numbers, it's more than just that because if it was that simple, then he would have just won a championship in 2011. And I think okay. that's and that's the that's the point that so many people, I think many people are trying to convey that. They just do it, they just do a terrible job with so, it on Twitter. So, so basically you're saying, you're like, okay, LeBron, you wanted to take this in your own hands. Like you want to take your career in your own hands. So let's go ahead, bro. Go do it. Like, go. let's see what happens. And then he loses and you're like, ah, see, told, like, told you, bro. Like, it's almost kind of like a, like a got you type shit. It's like. It wouldn't be a got you if he played great. What? It's not a. But, but he, if, so, so, so he lost and no. So if he won, then what? Then what's the excuse then? There's going to be an excuse. There's though. not, there's not an excuse. That's what, it. Like, that's not for, for me, at least I can't speak on everybody on Twitter. For me, it's not an excuse because I understand that you can't just win a championship on your own. I understand that every other all-time great player had another all-time great player beside them and another all-time great coach on the bench and an all-time great front office. I understand those things. So I'm not going to – again, I'm not holding against what he happened in, what happened in 2007. I'm not holding against what happens in, in 2015. Like, those, like there's – Several losses, no, almost no, nearly all of if them. Because if it was all about like the oh, like to be better than Jordan, you gotta like go undefeated in the finals. Then, then, dude, and after 07, it would have been but over those, for him. But those, it would have been over. Argument, but those arguments are from ignorant people. I'm not. But then, why does the loss in 2011 mean so much? Like because why is that's so opportunity. Because that's an opportunity that you can win. It's a legitimate opportunity. It's not like you were an underdog. It's not like the odds were against you. You had a legitimate opportunity to win. At 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 worst is even if you want to inflate the Dallas Mavericks, uh -huh. at worst they were at e they were even with the Miami Heat that year. 
Okay. And then not only do you lose, but you lose in a manner in which results in eight points for a game, scoring zero points in the fourth quarter. And for someone who's bigger, taller, stronger, like you say, that's your word. This is one. You cannot, this is literally one series. Let's, we, we're not going to get to all of Jordan's failures before this shit. I'm not even going to touch I'm, on that. I'm, because, but the same way I'm not touching on LeBron's failures before that because I can no, 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 because this is why, because here's a, this, I, let me, let me get to this before mm -hmm. I, before I go into that. So if we can agree, oh, that was a winnable championship. The Mavs is a winnable championship, right? Yeah. Uh, I think the same people would say that Warriors team was not, was supposed to beat the Cavs and that was not a winnable championship when they played the Warriors and they wound up winning. So I'm pretty sure something like that could make up for, oh, okay, like he lost in six against the Mavs instead of winning. Okay, so why is it this giant gap where it's like, no, nothing you can ever do will like be on Jordan's level? Again, you're, you're, you're referencing me in the same class as ignorant people because I never said it was a massive gap. And I agree with you. If anything, that should count. What happened in 2016 should counterbalance what happened in 2011. But that, I mean, that still means that if he wants to be – greater than him then he would have to do more than him that doesn't like you if if let's hypothetically speaking if we're just keeping count if 2011 is a is a, a minus or a takeaway from lebron if that's a minus one and then if you even if you want to say 2016 is plus two that still leaves you with one you're still you're basically knocking off even you're trying to not erase but you're trying nah, to bro that shit yo that championship against the best team of all time 73 and nine bro I'm going to say that's more, more, more than a little than two, bro. And guess and what? I, and, I would, and I would argue that that what happened in 2011 was more than negative one. Oh, really? Oh, so, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. you were just wearing a Kobe jersey. What do you think about Kobe getting swept by that team, though? Again, I, I'm, I'm, what? I'm not. What is oh, this? Let me, let me what is play. this? Where's the I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not one of the people like you who I want you to a little... But Bel belittle finals competition. No, no, no. I want because, you to subtract. Because, because I want I, you to subtract no, no, no. from Kobe. I want you to subtract multiple from Kobe, bro. Because you want to subtract multiple from LeBron. Subtract and, from and, Kobe. And, and all. And guess what, Los? That's on Kobe's resume too. That's why he's not in the conversation that we're having right now. That's part of the I don't, reason. I don't think. I don't think so. I don't think people even talk about that. I don't think people because even bring it, that be, up. But, well, mainly because there's so many other things that talk about Kobe before we even get to that point, but that is part of the conversation. But you're right. Hey, you're right, Los. You're right. That team swept a back-to-back -back defending champion Los Angeles Lakers team. You know uh -huh. who else swept? You know who else swept back-to-back -back defending champions? You know who else swept that? You know what that? Are you going to say Jordan swept what? The Pistons or some shit? No, I don't have to say that. The 96 Seattle Supersonics did the same thing. They swept the Houston Rockets who were back-to-back -back defending champions. And yet, for whatever reason... That team is not – you. if you anybody brings up that team, then all of a sudden that's not a good team. But now you're trying to tell me – I, ne again, I, 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 never said that, I never said that about the Sonics. I said – I think, first of all, I think the Jazz are overrated as fuck. And I, okay. think, I think that Stockton and, and the other couple, uh, like, white guards they had could not guard anybody in the league today. And I, and I think that. 90% of the starters in the league today. And that's who was guarding Jordan? Come on, bro. You know Stockton LeBron would eat them up. Come on, bro. Stockton wasn't guarding Jordan, though. Jordan, yo, he would switch on to Jordan. And that other dude, what was that guy's name? Havlicek? By, by, Byron Russell was the primary defender on Jordan. What, what are we saying? Dude, dude, that's not true. That's not true. And, and, and how many times? First of all, I could pull up a picture right now. I'll Google uh Bulls Jazz Finals, there will be a dude guarding Jordan that looks like he should not even be in the same gym as Jordan, bro. And and Los, let's again, let's use that same logic for LeBron. If I pull up a picture where JJ Berea, no, don't do LeBron. that. Don't fucking bring up JJ fucking Berea. I'm, I'm, I'm oh, you fuck. Oh, I'm you fuck. Question. Los, I'm asking a question. If I bring up that picture, does that mean I that JJ we Barea? A, I thought we were having a civil that, thing here. No, I thought it was listen, civil. Listen, does that mean that JJ Barrea is LeBron's primary defender because I pull up one picture? Then why do LeBron haters say, oh my God, LeBron got shut down by JJ Barrea and Jason Terry? Why do I have to hear this? Why do I have to hear this? Well, we know that those are not the primary defenders. We okay, both know so, this. And so who, who was? Sean Marion? Is that, that who it was? Is Sean Marion 6'7 and a good defender? 
I'm I'm just asking you a question, Lil. I'm, I'm asking, asking you. I ask you a question. You, you're the you're the <laughs> yeah, expert. So you an, you ask you answer a question with another question. I'm asking I'm asking if he's good. You tell me. At that stage of his career, yeah, I would still say he was good. He was he's so a good, good defender, and I think yeah. and I think the team defense was good. Agree. I'm happy. I'm happy you admit that that the team defense matters, not just one or two individual players. Similar to what happened in the '90s, it was team defense. Team defense didn't just start existing. It's always existed, Lost. It's existed on some teams. Not all teams have that. And I'd but say... Mo- uh-huh, go ahead, go. And, and I'd say this. I'm glad you can admit that, too, because the people in the chat who just shit on LeBron, all they do is just say, J.J. Barea and Jason Terry shut down LeBron and held him to eight points. Like, this is the shit that I see. This is the shit that's on Twitter under Bleacher Report tweets. This is the shit that's being spewed. All that and all that again. I'm not here to try to add validity to like people trolling on Twitter, but this is the point I'm making, though. If your argument is when he, when LeBron, I mean, when Jordan was being defended by the players in the '90s, that they weren't competent defenders because of their size and their body, and Jordan was just quicker, stronger than them. Correct? I mean, is that is that somewhat just, of an argument? Just how I mean? just how Bill Russell was fucking way better than everyone he played against. Shit just happens like that sometimes. I'm sure in fucking 20 years, there's going to be fucking nine Giannis's running around. Who mm-hmm. the fuck knows? But I'm just saying, like, obviously, there's a like, difference between Jordan and fucking uh, uh, Hornacek, obviously. But, but just like how there's also players who are nowhere near closely built to LeBron. LeBron also has a physical advantage, Los. Over over KD, Kawhi, Kobe. Who, 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 who else are we going to say that he played against? He's not bigger than Kawhi? Bruh. Is he not bigger than Kawhi, Los? Los, is he not taller and bigger than Kawhi? Bro, are they, Le- aren't they they not both listed at 6'8"? Le- Am I missing something here? Am I missing something? First of all, LeBron is 6'9". Yeah, but I'm saying this is what they're listed as. We could just guess, oh, Katie's 7 foot. Uh, uh, Katie's listed at 6'9". Los, Los, Los. If any... It's- is and, LeBron oh, and, not oh, bigger than Ed Kawhi? Giannis that list. Ed Giannis that list that, that LeBron's played against. What? Yeah, yeah, that's for the past two or three years. Fine. But isn't, isn't, listen, isn't LeBron bigger than Kawhi? That's an Ed, easy Add yes Paul George to it when Paul George actually is decent is, is in LeBron, the Pacers. Is LeBron, isn't LeBron bigger than Paul George? Paul George, no. They're both 6'8". We're talking, we're not, we're not just talking about height. Because if that was an argument, then apparently Jeff, Jeff Hornacek can guard MJ, right? Because they're the same height, right? Yeah, but if we're going, it's more if in we're height, going off size, also, if we're going off muscle. size, then LeBron got Jordan beat on size. If we're going by size, we're going no, but we're talking about their def- we're talking about their defenders. If your argument is Jordan was physically more dominant than the players he was going up against, that's why it was easy for him to dominate, which again, I agree. But you also have to acknowledge that about LeBron because he's more physically dominant than practically everybody who's ever defended him at any point in his career. Okay. That's simple. Yeah. And and who's played in a better era? But then by by that by that metric, then that means that everyone in today's league is just better than everybody else in prior er- eras. Yeah, I think the last you take the last person on the bench on a shit team, you put you throw them in the 80s and the 90s. That's going to be a good player, bro. So the second greatest player of all time is Kevin Durant? What do you mean of all time? This, by your logic, you tell my everybody in today's league is just better. So the second best player of all time, by your opinion, is Kevin Durant. Hey, let me ask you something. Okay, all right. Hey, let me ask you something. Hey, let me ask you something. No, no, no. Hey, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. All right, if, you, t- if you take out of your head, if I could, if I could remove out of my head KD joining the Warriors, the most pussy shit ever, right? If I take okay. that out of my head... Hey, and I'm and I'm looking at I'm looking at two people. They're playing one on one. I'm not saying this makes someone better playing one on one, but I'm saying if I'm if I'm playing basketball and I'm choosing someone to play with, who am I picking? KD, who can fucking do everything, and he's six a uh, ten, six eleven, seven foot, or Jordan? Who am I picking? I'm picking KD. So I'm picking KD, to me. and Jordan never played against anyone close to KD or LeBron. So explain to me why KD struggles when in in 2016 when he was up three one. Why why couldn't he just because he had over? Westbrook on his team? Because he had Westbrook on his team. Okay. And, and Westbrook we, 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 we Westbrook can go any further. Stop KD from winning that shit. But go ahead. We can go any further. 
why is it that LeBron, if it's if you think it's just that simple because KD is just taller and, and he has more of a more skill set, a better, better skill set when it comes to scoring, why is it that LeBron makes more buzzer beaters than KD? Why is it that he has better clutch numbers than KD? Why is um, it that um, LeBron and, LeBron has mm-hmm. been in situations, uh, more situations than KD to even hit a buzzer beater. And and second, even 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 the percentages, KD, the, percentage, the percentages says that LeBron is a better clutch performer than Kevin Durant. Dude. And there's no way you're gonna tell me that somehow Kevin Le- LeBron, it's his skill set offensively scoring wise is better than KD. So again, it's more than just height and size. I'm saying it's why more, you, why wait, who, how did you just change the subject to clutch shit? Because no, I'm not. I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to prove the point is that if Kevin Durant, because of his height and size and his skill set. If it was that much of an advantage, then he would his numbers will blow out everybody when it comes to scoring in every situation. But the reality is so, it doesn't. So it has he doesn't. has he won the last two seasons he was played in? What do you mean won? Won like, championships? Yeah, yeah, KD. Well, I mean he didn't win 2019, so no. No, the last two seasons he played it. All right. Anyway, no, you're you're right, because he got injured, whatever. Yeah. I'm saying this. I'm saying this, bro. We're talking about Jordan. We know we know oh he's a great scorer. He's not a good three point shooter. KD okay, can, can we score can we go, can just we, as good as, as Jordan, and he's a fucking three point shooter, and he's fucking taller, okay. and he can fucking handle the ball. I, 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 like, okay, so let's let's talk about somebody who didn't join the Warriors, right? So Steph Curry is a top five to ten player of all time, correct? No. How? Steph he's, Curry's he, a five what, to, dude. What no, no, no. Wait, I'm, I'm, I'm you. I'm. I'm using your logic. Your logic That's is not my logic. That That's not my logic. It is. You're, you're saying that in today, we're in a way better era, right? So by yeah, default, players in today's today's play, players in today's era is just better than what they were before, right? Right? If you want to talk about point guards, you, I'm not going to talk about players. You want to talk about point guards? Curry is top five point guards of all time. No, but by your logic, Los, if LeBron is already ahead of Jordan because he plays in an era where players are just better, so much so that you can take a garbage player in today's league and he will be great in the previous eras. If you're claiming that, that means that you will also have to be claiming that other players in today's league are also top whatever all time. You would Bro, have to be admitting that. You're putting words in my fucking mouth. No, that's I'm logic. Say- no, it's not that's the logic. logic. My that's logic, logic is this. You take the the wor- the fucking uh worst player on a team today, okay? A uh, fuck the worst player. You put him on a team in the eighties or nineties. That's gonna be a good player. I never said he'd be an all time fucking great. I never I said anything either. like that. I ne- you I said, said he'd said be a great. Either. No, you said great player. I never said that. You're just saying. so he'll be so he so. But again, you were just but again, you're missing my point. Are you trying to it's, say that the players when Jordan played were better th- or as good as today? I'm not. I'm not saying that either. What I'm saying is everything so, is still relative to where they play in. And if you're just using simple logic as today, if you play in today's game, you're deep by default better than what they were in prior years. And that's how I'm judging where I'm ranking players all time. That means by that by that logic, player other players besides LeBron, other players in today's game, such as Kawhi, would be better. All time as well. It can't just be LeBron. LeBron why? Can't, can't why be would Kawhi one. be better than than who? Than who all time? Jordan? Who's he better than all time? You're saying better than who? Is Kawhi by by the logic you're saying Kawhi would have to be better than Larry Bird? I'm taking Kawhi Leonard over Larry Bird. Okay, so so you got Kawhi top ten all time? Then. No, I don't. So is Larry Bird not top ten all time? No, he's not. Oh, so let's hear your top ten. Lines. I want to hear your top. My let's top. Hear it. My t- but the thing is, I don't have like a top ten. That's like, I have two top tens. I have player, like an actual player. You ignore narratives and fucking who, what team they played for, and fucking MVPs, whatever. Just players, and then I have like a legacy type top ten. Can okay. can you agree that those are not the same thing? Okay, yeah. So what is your top ten players list? Before I before I say this. Before I say this, chat, I just looked at the chat. You guys are doing the exact shit that you do every time. It's annoying at this point. It's literally annoying. Anything I'm saying, you're just saying that it's just the dumbest thing ever. That's fine. You can keep going, chat. No, go ahead. Keep spamming. You can free the plebs, too. Might as fucking well. Anyway, uh, what, yeah. I was, what I was going to say is this. 
Do you before I say this? Do you agree that uh, that the top ten list could be different if you don't involve championships or who was on what team and shit like that? I mean, it, it can again. It can, but is that is that what you're saying? You're just talking about strictly players, like how they play, their talent levels. That would just yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying, what do okay, you want so to hear? Do you want to hear that? Well, I want to hear that list. I want to hear. Th- I want to hear that list. If I'm ignoring everything, mm-hmm. K- KD is a hundred percent, a hundred percent. He's top. He's top five ten all time. Okay. Okay. Do you do you agree? Like, do you think there's ten players in the NBA that are better than Kevin Durant? If we ignore him being a pussy and all the shit. Jesus Christ. I'm I'm I'm. This is your list, Lou. So Kevin Durant, LeBron, right? I have Kevin Durant. Ka- Kawhi, Kawhi. No, 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 I, no, no. Stop, stop. I never said that. Okay. Stop, stop. Okay, okay, I, okay, okay, okay. And this is. I, I'm just gonna say the list. Okay, LeBron, Jordan, Kobe, Magic, Kareem, Tim Duncan, Shaq, Durant. I'm. I don't. How much was that? Nine or eight? It's eight. Um. I'm I'm probably forgetting some like fucking good ass people right now, but I'm like trying to go off the top of my head. Um So Kawhi oh, still Wilt, wouldn't Wilt, be Wilt, in Wilt, it? No no Wilt Wilt Wilt. Kawhi Wilt. wouldn't be in that throw Wilt in there. What? Okay, so that's nine. Kawhi wouldn't be in that conversation. Uh no, I don't have I don't have Kawhi in a top ten situation. Okay. I, I don't have I don't have Kawhi in a top ten situation. What about Shaq? What about Shaq? Did Oh I didn't say Shaq? Oh that's Shaq. You, you, I, I thought you, I said Shaq. Oh, Hakeem, my bad. What about Hakeem? I think you did say Shaq. Hakeem. Hakeem, um, right? Hakeem would have to be in it. Dude, again, again, with, with these lists, it's so Hakeem hard would... It's so hard for me to do a list and involve centers, and then I just feel like, I I don't know. Like, and tell you, just me name, you... you just named Will and Tim Duncan. I what know, you, I... and, and Kareem. What are we saying? I know, because <laughs> if I'm not naming bigs, then I would put Kawhi above Larry Bird. Like, I would do shit like that. But it's like, I have to throw bigs in there. And, so I, say, and I don't want to do that, but it's like they have to be counted in the fucking, you know, whatever. So Hakeem would be in that top ten. You said you said Hakeem or Kawhi. What did you say? He broke no, up. No, Hakeem, Hakeem, Hakeem. He would have to be, right? I mean, he's definitely more talented uh, than Shaq. He's more talented than Shaq. Come on. No, 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 no. Hold on. Kobe, Shaq. He's not more talented than Shaq? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Who? Who? Hakeem. Hakeem. I got Shaq over Hakeem, bro. What? How is how is Shaq more talented than Hakeem? He's be- he's better than Hakeem. How how how? Uh, we can go we can go by just fucking matchup one on one. We can go by championship <laughs> rings. I mean, what else can we go? We want to go for no, finals this MVP. Is this is a legacy. This is talent, Los. This is your list. Lo- talent. Is that what you want? I don't know. I don't know what you're that's saying. What that's, that's what I'm asking you. Talent. Just talent. Shaq, if we're just going off that dominant as fuck, 100% mm-hmm. over Hakeem. 100%. 100%. How would it be? What, are you, what, is, what is the confusion here? Well, because Hakeem could do an up and under? Like, Shaq could fucking dunk on your whole team. What are, you, what, what are we talking about? And listen, if you hey, oh, so, so let's so let's use the same logic. I, you know what? You know I'm a, no. I'm a, let's, let's use the same logic. Stop. No, no, hold on, no, no. I'm let's gonna let's put let's... I'm gonna put Akeem over over Kawhi, so that'll top my ten. No, no, no. I'm gonna put Hakeem, same... I'll, I'll feel good putting Akeem over my over Kawhi. Go ahead. Let, let me let, let's 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 use the same logic you use for LeBron over Jordan for Hakeem over Shaq because that would make the most sense. Wait, 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 huh? Did you just bait me into saying Hakeem over Shaq or some shit? No, no, I didn't no, say no, 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 no. Oh, you're, you're not saying. What I'm saying is it should be by your logic for why LeBron is over Jordan. It should be. For example, I mean, what what, what other stat besides scoring does Shaq have over Hakeem? Are, we, are, Hakeem, you, being, are you being serious? Ha- Hakeem has more rebounds. Hakeem, Hakeem will get more blocks. Hakeem will get more steals. I mean, what are uh-huh. we saying? Okay. Even 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 when we're talking, so, Hakeem was so, a so much, you're a worried much, about much, you're worried about me much. having Shaq at seven and and Hakeem at nine. Like okay, switch no, no, him. No, no, but if no, it no, makes no, you no, feel no. better, switch him up. No, no, switch Lose, him up. Because if we're going, trying to, Lose, what I'm trying to do is make sure you understand why your logic is flawed because you're not using the same. You're not using. You're not being consistent with other players. I'm being consistent on okay. Huh? That's one example of Hakeem and Shaq. I personally, Hakeem think should Shaq, be better than Magic. Hakeem should be better than Magic, right? What? It's, this is talent. 
Hakeem, defense player of the year. Magic never made all defensive team. Hakeem is top five in wait a second. the major. I did. Court. Wait a second. Hold on. I did not list them in order. Let's let's pause so where's this. Let's so where's the pauses? I'm so not saying order. So, but you but you you you, you, were, you weren't even going to put Hakeem in until I told you. So where's Hakeem at? Let me hear. Where's Dude, Hakeem at? The reason I wasn't going to put Hakeem. The reason I wasn't going to put Hakeem is because I, we were debating Kawhi and Hakeem. Kawhi is an all-around player, Ka like who can do more than Hakeem. So where do you have Hakeem? And he's we, also we, we defensive that. players and shit. We, we're, pa we're past that. Where do you put Hakeem? Off of talent alone. Dude, he's not. He's not breaking like the top eight. He's not break. He, like, he, he's like he's like eight, nine, or ten. He's like eight, nine, or ten for me. Doesn't make that much sense, Lowe's. I don't get how that doesn't make sense. He's a big. Because Hakeem played defense. Magic did Magic, Magic ever defense player of the year? Did he make Magic defended a center and won the finals. Magic is a fucking you're point guard. About, Magic is a six finals. nine point guard. We're not, we're not we're not talking about finals right now. Oh no, we're but you want to bring up defensive player of the year. You want to no, bring up defensive talking, player of the years, though. We're, we're talking about talent, individual. But That's you're talking, bringing individual. up awards. You're bringing up first individuals, team. Individuals, individuals. You're bringing up first team. You're bringing up defensive player. I brought up a, a, a situation where fucking he, he guarded a center, and he's also a point guard, and they also fucking won. So, like, explain to me how that's not overall talent. Dude, Magic is top five. Legacy or just players, Magic is top five, bro. And if he can shoot, dude, argument for him being number one. But go ahead. Hakeem, Hakeem is top 15 in points all time. Hakeem is top 15 in rebounds all time. Hakeem is top 10 in steals all time. Hakeem is number one in blocks all time. That is four out of the five major statistical categories where Hakeem Olajuwon is top 15 all time. Lose. Top 15. All time. And four out of the five major statistical categories. Name me another player who did Where, that. Where's LeBron at on that list? Um, uh, he, I, I highly doubt LeBron is top 15 in, in rebound. And you don't, I don't, you don't I highly, think you don't think LeBron's top 15 in all those categories you listed? In rebounds, not not the rebounds that um he doesn't even have more rebounds than Dwight, and Dwight just cracked the top 15. So what is he 16, 17? He's 48. Wait, Dwight is 15 and LeBron. Wait, what? LeBron in rebounds. LeBron is 48 all time in regular season rebounds. Dwight is 14. Oh, then why'd you make it seem like he was like neck and neck? Okay, anyway, anyway. That was a little trickery, but it's fine. I'm gonna say no, this. My, my, my point is the same point that you try to make with LeBron, which is if if you're gonna use stats, right, to prove the point to who's a, a better player, by that same logic, Lowe's, by default, by default. Hakeem should be at bare minimum top five in the talent category. Correct? So you want to use stats then? No, I'm using your logic. That's okay, what so so are, so I just asked you a question about LeBron being top 15. What is LeBron in assists, re, uh, points, all this shit? And also, hey, how about we talk about playoff points, assists, rebounds, all this shit? Because last time I checked, LeBron's fucking what? Top two, top three in every single category? That's fine. And that's number why, one in most that's of why, the categories. That's, that's that's why he's number one in your book, Los. And if you want to use that, that's 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 that makes sense. Why couldn't Los. Hakeem do this in the playoffs? Who said he didn't? I'm about to look at the numbers right now. Who said he didn't? Los? What did whoa, he do whoa. in the playoffs? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Calm down, Los. I want to know what he did. Oh, okay. What did he do? Oh no. So if if I look at these numbers, and they're similar to what I just told you, that means he'd be top ten, right? I'll put five, I'll right? put him in the top five if he's top fifteen in every stat in the playoffs. Go ahead. Hakeem Hakeem in points right now fourteen. Uh, Hakeem in rebounds. Hakeem is thirteen. Hakeem in can block. We, can we get a screen share of this shit? Because I mean, you can. Hakeem, Hakeem in block. Hakeem in blocks is number three. We know he's gonna be high in blocks. Hold on a second. Hold on a goddamn second. Can we share the screen? I okay, we can. We, oh, we I want to see what you're seeing right now. Lowe's, you're just making this so difficult, Lowe's. 
How is this difficult? Just share your screen. How, like, All right, hold on. I got you. I got you. Got hey, and, and also, I'll say this. I didn't know about Hakeem's, like, fucking every single stat, top 15 shit, whatever. But I would also love to see Shaq shit, bro. I would love to see Shaq. I would love to see Tim Duncan. And I would love to see Wilt and Kareem. I'd love to see these because these are the other bigs that we compare, you know? Let's before we get into that, let's also acknowledge that Hakeem is doing this while playing fewer games than all of those players you just named in the playoffs. But but yeah, we can look at yeah, yeah. we can look at career. Yeah, yeah. Here's here's points right here. You 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 clicked on it? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking at it. This is points in the playoffs. There's Hakeem right there, 14th. Hey, you know, you know what's crazy is that number one up there. Again, Los, I'm just trying to make sure you're consistent in what you're saying. You see who's below, you see who's below Hakeem? Magic Johnson, the same player I just tried to explain to you why he should be higher. Is this points? Um, is this points? That's, that's points. That's points. That's points. Okay. Here, here's blocks. Tim Duncan, Kareem, and Hakeem, higher than Shaq. Again, another player I tried to tell you. That's blocks. Here's rebound. Hakeem is 13th. Right there. You know what? If we were having a, a Hakeem versus Shaq debate, dude, you know what? You just showed me something I don't know. I didn't know all this shit about Hakeem. And I, I, I gotta I gotta give Hakeem way more props than I do. And I think what it is is when I think of and it's it's fucked up because when people talk about their lists, they don't do just talent. They just consider the whole shit. So Hakeem only has two rings. And it, and it kind of diminishes his career. But, chat, you guys are seeing this shit, too, right here in front of you. Look how great Hakeem is, but he's got two rings. So who talks about him? Who talks, about, it, who talks about Hakeem, bro? And Hakeem is 17th in steals as a big man during the playoff. As a big. And would you not agree? What if he had as many rings as, as Kareem, bro? What if he had, like, one less than Kareem? You could argue he's better than Kareem based off the, the championships. I mean, I mean, if that's the, if that's the argument you want to make, sure. I mean, I think that's the only thing that makes sense because so Hakeem, this... so, so where would Hakeem be now since you know the number? Dude, I do. I mean, listen, you, you've convinced me. I mean, <laughs> what the fuck? Say it, say it. What the oh, fuck? I, I, I close, I close it out. My... No, no, my shit was fucked up. Um, I would say if Shaq was, where do I have Shaq? I think like six or seven. I'd put Hakeem at the six or seven and put Shaq under him. Maybe, maybe Hakeem's five. Wait, dude, I'm still taking, I'm still putting magic over Hakeem, but I know you might disagree, but I just think when you're able to handle the ball, that adds a level to the game that like you just, a center just can't have. What, what era did, um, Hakeem play? Uh, what late eighties, nineties, or early what? or early eighties, nineties? What what was it? Is that the same? That's not the same time Jordan played, was it? Was it, it? Is the same time? What are you getting at, low? Because uh, I could have sworn you said that players back then aren't as good as they are now. I could have, I, I could have sworn. Hey, 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 I could have sworn. Hey, hey, low, hey, low, congrats. Hey, congrats. You named one. Hey, congrats. Hey, congrats. You named one player, one player, not George's position. Congrats. They never played in the finals. Congrats, low. Congratulations, bro. I could have sworn that's what you said. Never said that. I never said that there's no greats from other eras. But I said, overall, this era is better. That's what I said. What what era Shaq played in? He played during the nineties too, right? No, he mostly played two thousands. He played he played he played nineties, played some nineties, but not nineties. You're talking about like some some fucking uh, you know. I mean, he got drafted. What I mean, he played since like what ninety two or something like yeah, that. Like you, I mean, but you I mean that's 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 almost the entire nineties. You just said you just said the early years of careers don't count. Like Jordan, me losing the playoffs, LeBron seven years. You just said that. So no, it, why are we counting Shaq like young uh, but, Shaq? But we're, if, we're, if, we're, if we're talking about the, the talent argument, which would also encompass stats argument, we would have to look at their entire careers, Los. And what I see here is that Shaq came in the league in 92. Now, is that – that's the same time – that's not the same time Jordan was playing, was it? Was that before – was that – wait, well, how many years – into that, was that was I'm that trying to say, was it his third or fourth year in the league when he beat Jordan in the playoffs? I want to know. 
Yeah, because that's how Grady. That's how Grady was in his third year, and then his fourth year he lost to Jordan. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He lost to Jordan. Yeah, in in ninety six. Um, and and this is the uh, there was no injuries, right? Penny was completely healthy. Like there, yeah, no Penny, one. Penny, no Penny one. was out there. I saw I saw the series for myself. Penny was out there. Get manhandled in by uh, Pippen no, and, and Jordan. I saw no that. No one else on the team blew a game. Nothing crazy happened, right? Like nothing happened at all. No context. Just he just lost. What I mean? Are, are we going to add the context that Jordan came back in the middle of the season, or he just lost in '95? What is it? What are we saying? What are we saying? So, so what are we saying? What are we saying? So, what what are we saying? That doesn't count. Jordan coming back means nothing. That doesn't count. No, I'm, but I'm the asking goat, like the goat, the goat, right? He's the best ever. He can't just at, he can't just play out the season ask, and be good. What I'm asking you is, I mean, what are we? They the in '96 they got swept by them. It wasn't it wasn't even they didn't win a game. But what Pen, happened? To, what happened? To Penny, Penny was there. Penny was there. Shaq was. They lost. I've, I'm not in denial about them losing or not. What I'm saying is, let me ask you this for too some, about, about, for about someone that. that means that out of your top ten talent players, three of them. Three of them were in that air, correct? Let me see. Three of them. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Let me see. No, because I already just told you Shaq is a 2000s plus for me era. Because that's when he was fucking started winning. was the late 90s. When We're not when, talking to, about winning, Los. We're talking no. about impact, numbers, stats. Yes. How good were you as a talent? We're talking about that. He got off the magic, and what happened? He started fucking winning. Just like LeBron got off the fucking bullshit Cavs, and he started winning. Yeah, but, but he listen, started winning, he starts he start winning with LA and when he was in LA, he first was still playing in the 90s. He was in LA for 97, 98 and 99. That's still the 90s, Los. Now again, Los, I get what you're saying. From huh. 2000 on forward, Shaq was still great, but that also means that Shaq was also still great during the 90s. To the point where he not only beat Jordan, but got to the finals. So that means that but three the, out of your top 10 players yeah. and your talent list was in the 90s, but correct? But, but, but now, what, I'm now, saying, now, what I'm saying now, is now, this, let me ask you just one more, just one more question, Los, just one more. How many players in your top 10 talent are in the 2010? I just want you to answer that question. Um, Most of them are still playing right now. So you can't, I just, I can't, I just, make, I can't make a list. I don't know what's going to happen with KD. I don't know what's going to happen with Kawhi. God, what's going to happen with fucking anyone, bro? First of all, if we're going talent-wise. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and we're talking about people who didn't win shit. I mean, what about James Harden? He's put up numbers that no one's ever put up. So is he in your top 10, Los? Are you going to put James Harden in your top 10 talent? I'm not putting him there, but... Hey, okay, you why throw, would you bring him up? Why you, would you bring him up? Hey, you put you put him in the fucking Jordan era, bro? He'll make any fucking team in that in that whole fucking Los. NBA the other Chicago Bulls, bro. You Los, put James you Harden in that era? Los, nah. you didn't answer my question. You didn't answer my question. What question? What question? How many players played in the 2010s that was on that list? For the era right now to be so much better, how many players are on that list? Because I, you, you're trying to make a point that I didn't even say. I said <laughs> overall, it's better. Overall, it is better. Okay. It is better overall. You're talking so? about Hakeem and Shaq, who are literally freak of nature. They're literally freaks of nature. They're LeBron not is not a freak of nature. How many people walk around that look like Shaq? You answer how many people? How many, how many people walk around like KD? And he still had to join the Warriors. So what are we talking about, right? Now? What are we saying? Okay, you're making my point better for LeBron. What are you talking about? I'm asking you for I, an era that was so before, much before I, better. Hey, I'm gonna, for, I'm gonna forget this. I'm gonna forget this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna forget mm -hmm. this. Let me just point this out. Yes, you were, you were bringing about. You were talking about Jordan coming back and whatnot, right? Okay, mm -hmm. so tell me why when Jordan retired for the first time. Okay. Explain to me, because we can go through lists of other teams where this is the complete opposite, but tell me why, since, because like, Jordan was so dominant and he was, he was carrying everything, whatever. Why the fuck, and you know what I'm going to ask you, why did the Bulls barely get affected? I think it was like a two-win difference from when he retired to the next season when they almost made the finals, I think by one game or something. So because he I, wasn't because, he, because I, he wasn't pushing, he wasn't putting no he wasn't he was coasting in a regular season in ninety three. Explain to me why that Chicago Bulls team that had Jordan was not even on the team almost made the finals. They 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 had to go through a whole nother round, Los. Okay. 
a whole other race. And, 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 and let me, and let me also say, let me, let me what happened to the Cavs when LeBron let abandoned let them? Let what happened to the Heat when LeBron abandoned them? What happened to the Cavs the second time when LeBron abandoned them? What happened? Can I say this? Can I say this, Los? Why would you answer that? I'm going to answer that, too. Okay. A, A, if the Cavaliers were healthy in that 95 series, in the 94 series, excuse me, honestly, I don't think the Bulls would have made it out the first round. But So Jordan never played against yeah. injuries? That's fucking horse shit. But we, no, we when I'm, no, no, I'm, what I'm saying is, I mean, to have a depiction of them making the second round is all of a sudden them almost making the finals is a, is a wild stretch. Oh, no, but, I'm just talking about their record. There was the same record, almost identical. By yeah, because the, he, because Jordan, because in 90, season. because in 93, Jordan was coasting during the regular season. That's why. The same way that LeBron used to coast and didn't care that much about the regular season just so he can be prepped for the playoffs. Same thing happened in 93. LeBron, That's a good Jordan excuse. LeBron. That's a good it's excuse. not an excuse. Cause I, I can, I'll, I'll see you articles later on tonight. I'll see you articles later on tonight where they were saying the same thing. So back Jordan didn't play all the games. He didn't play all the games. He played the games, but he wasn't like you, same thing LeBron does where he's not, he's not going full force. He's reserving his body for the playoffs. I'll see uh, you articles. Now to answer your question okay, about, okay, okay. I, now, now to answer your questions about, um, after LeBron left in 2010, yeah, the Cavs are horseshit. They were bad. When LeBron left Miami, you know, Miami, he, Chris Bosch got butt clots the next year and then eventually got it again the year after that, ended his career. So that's a star caliber player that's no longer playing, who also wasn't there. As well. No, but he played the year after yeah. LeBron. He played half of the season. Okay. okay. So, so he played half of the season. But so, then also, so you're saying that Bosch would have made them a fucking like a second round a, a exit? Play, a play. Second, uh, like yeah. they, they would have. Let, 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 let me let me let me explain. Go ahead. He would have because in the very next season, the Miami Heat made it to the second round. Yes, he would have actually. I I, I disagree. I disagree. Mm, I, I don't disagree, know about that. especially no. with with the. Uh, but go ahead. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stop your train of thoughts. I keep. I and in in twenty in twenty sixteen, the the not the not the first year after LeBron left, the very next season, they the Miami Heat did the exact same thing that the um the um the Bulls did. They went to the second round and pushed the team to seven games. They did the exact same thing. The Bro. biggest difference was that in twenty fifteen, not only did Chris Bosh play half of the season, D Wade only played sixty two games. He missed twenty games during the regular season as well. That team wasn't a hundred percent healthy. Now again, those are factors that okay. LeBron also had to deal with when he was there as I well. I was about to bring that up because like, I on. was about to yeah, say yeah. that. Yeah, that's, those are, are all those are, are all factors. Losses that get brought up against LeBron. When yeah. we when we somehow forget that no one on the Heat played well in the finals. D Wade was fucking had one knee, um, and then all of a sudden the next year, Bosh wants to be this fucking all star, but in the playoffs, in the, in the fucking finals, what the fuck is he doing? How is he helping the, the Heat win? But go ahead. Keep going with your train of thought. And, but what I'm saying is after 2015 and 2016 when Wade was healthy and he played practically a full season and he went into the playoffs and practically played um, – he, play, he played well as well in the playoffs. The Bulls – I mean, the, um, the Heat did the same thing that the Bulls did in 95 when Wade was there and, and able to play, which was make it to the second round and push the second round team to seven games. They did the exact same thing. Okay. So they didn't do the exact same thing, but – my point, my, my point is this. Even if that is all true, Jordan was coasting, whatever. That Bulls team, there's no denying the fact that one game away from going to the fucking, what, what was it, Eastern Conference the Finals? Con the Conference Finals. Yeah, the Eastern Conference Finals. Dude, bro, all I'm saying is that Jordan's impact maybe wasn't as massive as you're saying it is. Because then the next year... They didn't go to the finals. Jordan came back. I mean, if we're going to base it off, oh, Bosch played half the season, they would have for sure went did all this. Jordan played half the season. They fucking failed. So Jordan, like, didn't play, Jordan didn't play half the season. He played 17 games. It's not half the season. Bro, he played, okay, 17 games. That's, 17 like, that's, games. Like, that's like fucking two months. That's like two months. Okay, that's a quarter of the season. <laughs> what, what are we saying? But and then he played the playoffs. It's actually, that's actually that's actually less than quarter in the quarter of a season. You're right. No, you're right on that. You're right on that. He played 17 games. Yeah, 17. So when like I was saying, look, a little. Not, I, uh, okay, go ahead. I like I like what you, I like I understand what you're trying to say, but look, 
the point that you're trying to make, all I'm trying to say is that apparently there had to be a lot of talent in the 90s because three of your top 10 players, talent-wise, played in the 90s. And they played a, a huge portion of the 90s, actually majority of the 90s. Shaq, Hakeem, and Jordan. Are any of those are any of those the same position as, as Jordan? No, but apparently there's no small forwards in the 2010s that was in your top 10 except for LeBron. I put KD in the top 10. Oh, so that's just two. Okay. And I, and I was debating putting Kawhi. Not with Hakeem. Come on. Now. But you didn't do it, did you? Bro, I was debating. Oh, okay. and, and, and what, is Tim Duncan not LeBron's era? You're, you're, you're debating me about if Shaq played in the 90s. Hey, you have the audacity to put Tim Duncan in the He played him three times in the finals. The fuck? Yeah, one, one of them was in the 2000s, Los. I understand that, but what do you mean? Then that's the same thing. Then you can't say this shit about Shaq. Come on, come on, Los. We're not going to act like Tim Duncan's years in, two, in the 2010s were the same as his years in 2000s. And it's not even comparable to Shaq years in the 90s. Come on, Los. Look, 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 uh, look, no, no, yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing that. Hell no. I'm just yeah, saying yeah. that they played. You're talking about they played in an era. Okay, I have LeBron, Duncan, Shaq, KD, potentially Kawhi, and Kobe. That's six right there, all and in my kinda, top ten. Kind of come on, all right, come on, Lose. come on, Lose. come on, come on, come on. What the what fuck? Do what do you mean? Yeah, I'm counting what Kobe. Are, he what, won what two. He won fucking two rings and went to the finals three times. In, in the fucking, 2000s. In the late 2000s. What the fuck are you talking that's about? Not, that's not the 2010s. Come bro. on, bro. And then, and, then, and then if we really want to get deep, Curry is arguably top two point guards of all time. Oh, and he, he is. Play, and, that's, that's, not a, hey, hey, let me, that's not an argument. He, okay. He's a second. So he's a second. depending on where you rank guards or centers... Bro, that's seven players that are at least in the top 11, 12. Well, are you, are you going to put Kerr in the top 10 or not, Los? That's all I'm asking. I asked you that from the beginning. Are you going to do it or not? Are you? I'm asking you. This are is you? List. This is your list, I don't care Lo. about my list anymore. I want, I want your list. I want your Come list, on. Lo. No, give Come me. On. No, let's hear Come your on, fucking Lo. beloved Lo. fucking Lo. sacred Lo. list. I want to hear your Lo. list. Slow, slow, slow. Come on, come on, come on. I want to hear your list. I want to hear your list. That's all I want to hear. Chad, we're going to wrap this up because it's going to keep crashing. We'll put a fork in this and we'll do this again. But I want to hear your top 10 before we... Because oh. we have not gotten to the bottom of LeBron Jordan. We haven't. We, we talked about pretty much every other player except them. So I want to hear your top 10 before well, we wrap let me, this let me, up. Let me, I'll, I'll wrap it up on LeBron. LeBron is an amazing player. Still has time to still accomplish a lot more. And I don't really think it's that far-fetched at some point in his career, especially the way he's playing, to be better and greater than Michael Jordan. I'm not one of those people who sit there and say that he has to win seven championships or he has to do a three-peat or it's impossible because he lost in 2011. I'm not one of those people. All I'm saying is wait, because... Wait, wait. I don't want to interrupt, but uh, are you're saying you're not one of the people that, that are like, oh, he has to win three in a row. Yeah, I'm, I'm not one of those people. Okay, I'm not okay. one of those people who's going to run around and say three and six. Like, I'm I'm not one of those people. I understand context. I understand how his how his career played out and all those things. So but you're, what I am you're smarter. Is, you're smarter how you hate on LeBron. You're a little smarter than. I know, hate on LeBron. That's you're a amazing. little smarter about it. But all right, with, LeBron, right. with the LeBron James jersey on my body right now, I'm hating on him. All right, say less. Look, <laughs> all, all I'm saying is, yo, that man is amazing. People, please don't take him for granted. 17 years, you'll probably never, ever in your life witness something like that ever, 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 ever. ever. Never. Literally never. Ne Literally never. I, and I, I'm being dead answers. I don't think you'll ever do it because even when it comes to like advancement in um, medicine and technology, people are still getting injured left and right. Look at Kevin Durant. Look at Kawhi Leonard. All these players. Giannis just missed playoff games. Even though that doesn't sound like a big deal, LeBron has never missed a playoff game. So please and don't. And I don't think it'll ever happen in any sport, period. Yeah, don't don't just don't, don't 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 take this for granted. Um, and I'm again, I'm not one of those people who believe that he can never catch up to um to Jordan, bro. All I'm saying is, and I'm not he doesn't even have to win six. All I'm saying is, I don't I don't want to jump to conclusions because of these new standards that are being made up by random people on a year to year basis. And the whole reason why I went through the whole back and forth with you with Akeem is because you can't make an argument based off of stats and talent and all these other things, if that's your argument, fine, but then be consistent with their argument. Because by that same logic, like I just explained to you, Hakeem would be better than Shaq by that logic. And I just want people to be consistent. If you have LeBron 
as the greatest player, best player of all time, whatever you want to say it. We still didn't look crazy. at Shaq's stats. I don't know Shaq's stats. I mean, we never it's, looked at them. Hey, hey, let me tell you right now. Shaq is not top 15 in, in four out of five major statistical categories. Let me just we, – we can save our – we can save it right there. He's not. So – all right. I'll, I'll, okay. I'll, 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 okay. I'll, I'll, I'll take your word on that one. But uh, but before, okay. But can we hear the top ten? I want to hear the top. I want to hear. I want to hear the sacred top ten. I think your I think your stream just crashed. So I guess we got to get out of here. Man. No, it That's didn't. Crazy. No, it did not. Oh, what? I think it did. What no, the stream on? did not crash, bro. Hey, yo, Chash, put trap chat. Put a one in the chat if you still see us. I don't see no ones. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't see no ones. So like, oh, we got to get out of here. No so we so oh oh that's how so, we're gonna leave this we don't get the top 10 we don't get the give, give it give us the top 10 bro before we get up give us the top 10. that's crazy Shaq is not even top 15 in rebounds and he's a big that's crazy um look what do you got what do you got you can do legacy you can do talent you can do both whatever uh, you want to do i want to hear your top 10 bro I didn't, why because i well hey, hey, you, you, right. you don't have to put I'm in not, order you don't have to put in order you don't i'm not i'm not i'm not doing legacy because i i'm i'm saving that for a video i'll do talent. Okay. Yeah, talent. This is good. This is good. LeBron, Jordan, Hakeem Olajuwon, Kevin Durant, Kobe Bryant. Um, I love it so far. If we go, I would. If we go on talent, I might have to put Chris Paul in there as well. Oh my! You're, I might you're, to, are you trolling? Talents, low talent. Bro, talent involves like. Like physical, physicality also. You can't just throw a six footer in a, in a mix, bro. But then you, but why were you so hesitant to say bigs then? That doesn't make any sense. But bro, Chris Paul over Curry? If, I mean, but defense alone would put Chris Paul over Curry if we talk about strictly talent. Defense but alone. Offense, oh, al oh, offense and shooting alone would put Curry over, over Chris Paul. Yeah, but it's not like Chris Paul can't, can't shoot. I mean, Chris Paul is very efficient. And I'm like, he's not as efficient. But the gap between his efficiency and contrast to Curry's is a smaller gap than the defensive. What player. you're saying is smart, Kareem. but bro. Kareem. Kareem, Kareem as well. Kareem, Kareem. I have to put Kareem in. Oh there. yeah, Kareem. Yeah, has literally has to. Um. Oh, Tim Duncan. I do Tim Duncan eight. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Two more. I, I am putting Kawhi in that. I'm putting Kawhi in there as well. So you're not putting Bird in there? The last one would be between Bird and Wilt. And I would probably put Wilt because yeah, he dominated that era, but it was a weak-ass era. So I might I might go with Bird. I can go with one or the other. I feel like Wilt, though, would have been like, like if you put him, swap him out with Hakeem, I feel like he would have performed as well and maybe better no. than Hakeem. Like in, in in the circumstances, the context, whatever. I don't know. In that in that era of big men with David Robinson, Shaq, Hakeem Olajuwon, even even Kareem. Hakeem outperformed Kareem. Hakeem outperformed every um either he outperformed or he beat every big wait, man wait, in that era. Wait, hold on. You you didn't say magic at all in the top ten? If we talk about strictly talent lows. Bro, no. Dude, how talent dude. talent? Magic, magic couldn't shoot. Magic was not a defender. I don't, I don't, I can't, I don't know. I don't know about that one. Oh I don't know. We talking about, if we're talking about just strictly talent, just strictly talent, I don't talking, know. If we're talking about strictly talent, you said it, you said it best. Number one, you said LeBron. Oh, that was not in order. I mean, it's, oh. it's obviously, it's obviously Jordan. Oh, then no. Kobe, then Durant. Oh, no. Then I, Hakeem, what do you mean? I got, Jack. I got, the, I got the clip forever. I got the clip forever uh, of you saying, oh, yeah, I mean, it's LeBron, honestly, it's Jordan. Number, I got number it. 10, number 10 is actually LeBron battling with Bird and Matt. What? Shut the fuck I'm going to be honest with LeBron's you. LeBron's battling with Bird. A, Dude, you don't even believe that. Let's, I'm being honest. Who's a better shooter? LeBron, let's put a fork in it. What? LeBron's let's, a better shooter? Let's put a fork in it. I'll talk to you later. We'll, we'll, LeBron we'll, is we'll resume better. this. We'll resume this. Hey, shout hey, out to chat. chat. Hey. Yeah, chat, everybody, bro. Shout, shout out to Lowe. Shout, shout out to Lowe. Shout out to chat, man. King James out here, bro. Listen. It, it, respect that man's greatness. Don't 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 take it for granted. Listen, I think this was fun. I think we should do this again, and we should get other people on the panel. We should get some people up here and just I, I like mean, start going crazy. And we we can do it whenever you got free time and you're not you're not shaking in your boots to, to oh, the date. Okay, all right. Well, I'll talk to you later. All right, bye. bye I'm just bye. saying, man. I'm just saying. Chat, say bye. All right. All right, I'll see you, bro.